Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go through how you can create your very first macro in Microsoft Excel. Macros are a very powerful tool that can help automate repetitive tasks or perform complex actions. We're going to cover everything that you need to know as a beginner, including how to create and use these macros. And with that said, let's get into the video. In this example, I have some timesheets for a given month. I have timesheets for May 2023, June 2023, and July 2023. And what I want to be able to do is to create a macro so that I can format these tables with a click of a button. Before doing anything macro related in Excel, you need to do two things. The first thing that you need to do is to save your file as a macro enabled file. And the second thing you need to do is to activate the developer tab in the ribbon. So to save your file as a macro enabled file, we can go up to the file area then click save a copy and then click macro enabled workbook from the options here. Then click save. Now to activate the developer tab, what we can do is right click up here, click customize the ribbon and then check the developer box right here Then click OK. Now that the developer tab has been activated, we can record a macro. To record a macro, we just head up to the developer tab and then click record macro. It's going to ask us to name the macro, so I'm going to call it format table. And then I'll click OK. One way to know that a macro is being recorded is if you look closely at the bottom left, you'll see a stop icon shown. So now I'm ready to format this data and make it look a little more presentable to the viewer. So now I've finished formatting my data and I'm ready to stop recording the macro. The way to stop the macro is to go to this area down here and click this button to stop the recording. Now that I've stopped recording the macro, let's take a look at what's been created. Now to see the code that's behind the macro, we just head up to the developer tab and then click on macros and then go to edit. If it's your first time looking at code behind macros, this might look a little bit overwhelming, but trust me, it's not too bad. So what's happening behind the scenes when you're recording a macro is Excel is writing this code line by line as you're performing the actions in Excel. So just for example, this piece of code is where I selected the cell range from C3 to H3. We can see pieces of code here where I changed the color of the cells. And if I scroll down a little bit, we can see the pieces of codes that are used to apply borders to our data. And finally, this last piece of code was written when we changed the format of the values in the week ending column to dates. All right, so let's head on back to our original data. So now that we've created our macro, we can go ahead and use it for other pieces of data. So let's hop on over to June 2023 and see if we can use the macro there. So I'm just going to click the June 2023 tab and then I'll go to the macros area and then I'm going to run the format table macro. And just like that, at a click of a button, the same format has been applied. Now there are some caveats that you need to be aware of when using macros. A big thing to watch out for is that the format of the original data needs to appear the exact same way. So for example, this table for June 2023 starts in cell C3. When I go to the July 2023 tab, we see that the, the data or the table starts in B2. Now let's take a look to see what happens when I run the macro on this data set. So I'm just going to go to the macros area and then click run. We can see that the macro ran just fine but the format of the table is nothing like we expected to see. And that's how you can create your first macro in Microsoft Excel. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.